This is going to be a very brief look at a game called Fantasy General 2. In Fantasy General 2 there are two playable factions, the Barbarians and the Empire. The Barbarians are pretty much what you'd expect, shamanistic warriors based loosely upon the ancient barbarians that did battle with Rome in our real world. They are most similar to Vikings and they've got troll units as well. The Empire is the faction of interest to us because it is actually a necromancy faction. According to the game's lore, the Empire grew powerful due to its necromancers, who used the undead for all labour in the Empire, but also for warfare. The Empire's citizens are described as being freed from menial work because of their undead servants. Here's the sad thing though, there is no campaign for the Empire. There is only a barbarian campaign, which has you doing battle against the Empire. So if you want to play as the Empire, you're limited to skirmish mode. No campaign, just doing battle on a single map. I played this barbarian campaign for about 24 hours over a few weeks, and the game is good. If you like tactical turn-based combat, you'll probably like this. But if you're like me, you'll get bored of barbarians and stop playing. I honestly don't care about the barbarians. So if you're thinking about buying this game for its necromancy, I would not recommend it right now. Without the campaign, there's no point. But you know, honestly, if you don't care about campaign at all, you could probably buy this and still have fun in skirmish mode. The footage you're seeing behind my voice right now is skirmish mode as Empire. And as I was filming this footage, I was having fun. It's a good game. It just needs the Empire campaign and then we can all be satisfied. The good news though is that when I was rummaging around through the Steam discussions, I did come across a few rumours about an Empire campaign coming someday. But these are mere rumours, and although I remember reading them a few weeks ago, I unfortunately cannot find the topic again, and I didn't note down what it was, and it also doesn't appear to be in my browser history either. Maybe I imagined it. There is no concrete information on this as far as I can tell. Maybe it won't ever come. In case you're wondering, the game's expansion called Onslaught does not add an Empire campaign. It's a continuation or spin-off of the Barbarian campaign. I'm not going to score this game or do a video on it again, unless the campaign for Empire comes out and allows us to play the Necromancy faction properly. Thanks for watching, I hope this video has helped you with your search for new Necromancy games. My hope is that if you've come across this game while searching and wondered if it's worth getting for Necromancy, that you now have a better idea of what's available in it. I've got more videos on necromancy games, books, etc. coming soon.